Hello. There is this type of problem that is very common that is used at pretty much every lesson where we calculate derivatives. So I'm going to ask you again to determine the equation of the tangent to the curve of this function defined by y which is x squared minus 3 times x squared minus 7x plus 2 when x equals 1. In order to determine the equation of the tangent we're gonna try to determine the slope of this tangent and one point that belongs to that line. Let's start by first determining the slope of the tangent, which is nothing else than the derivative of our function. And to be more precise, we need the derivative, we need a slope at that point when uh, x is 1. So the first thing that I need to determine is the derivative, the expression of the derivative. That's why I'm going to calculate y prime is going to be ddx of and as we see, it's a product, so I'm going to apply the product rule when differentiating. First, we differentiate the first expression, so we're going to have ddx of x squared minus 3 times the second expression remains unchanged, so x squared minus 7x plus 2, plus, now the first expression remains unchanged, x squared minus 3, times the derivative of the second expression, ddx of x squared minus 7x plus 2 now we can evaluate the derivatives of, of those uh, expressions. So the first one is going to be 2x times x squared minus 7x plus 2 plus x squared minus 3 times the derivative of that expression is going to be 2x minus 7. Let's expand and we're going to have 2x to the power 3 minus 14x squared plus 4x and the second product there if we expand, we're going to have 2x to the power 3 minus 7x squared minus 6x plus 21. Let's look for the like terms, 2x to the power 3 and 2x to the power 3. We also have minus 14x squared and minus 7x squared. And 4x and minus 6x are like terms. So let's add together all the like terms. We're going to end up with 4x to the power 3 minus 21x squared minus 2x plus 21. So this is the expression for the slope of the tangent at any point. Let's calculate what is the slope of the tangent when x is 1. So f prime of 1 is going to be 4 times 1 to power 3 minus 21 times 1 to power 2 minus 2 times 1 plus 21. So this is going to be equal to 2 and represents the slope of the tangent when x equals 1. In order to determine the equation, now that we have the slope at that point, we also need a point that belongs to this tangent. So we have the x-coordinates. All we have to do for this x equals 1 is to determine f of 1. Uh, I'm going to plug this value of 1 in the expression of uh, f of x. So it's going to be 1 squared minus 3 times 1 squared minus 7 times 1 plus 2. And this is minus 2 times the other expression is going to end up being minus 4 and this ends up being equal to 8. So one point that we know, the point of intersection between the tangent and uh, the graph of the function is going to have these coordinates x and y 1 and 8. By definition the slope m is the difference y minus y0 over x minus x0 and uh, x0 and y0 are these two coordinates of the known point that we have. It's any known point. We know this point. So we're going to use those coordinates in this expression and m is the slope as I just calculated earlier is that value of 2. So let's reorganize this expression. I'm going to have y minus y0 equals to m times x minus x0. Now I'm going to replace all these elements that we know. So the coordinates of the known point and the slope m. The expression is going to become y minus 8 equals to 2 times x minus 1. And I'm going to reorganize this expression in the form of um, a slope and y-intercept. So y equals to 2x plus 6. This is the equation of the tangent when x equals 1. That's exactly what we were trying to determine. 
you'll see it's going to become a lot more easier uh, the more you practice with it. So with this, we concluded the example. Thanks for watching.